All right, guys, it's uh, Rudy here with your answers. Today, as said, we're going to do some black knot tree work, and I'm going to show you how that works and what the black knot looks like and what kind of tools we use and all that good stuff. All right, so stay, stay tuned. So here we have, uh, we have the little clippers here, hand clippers. Then we have a pole pruner, long pole, which extends. And we have a bag to put the black knots in after they're cut off. And what else do we have? We have, you guessed that right, we got something to sterilize the, uh, the snippers and the clips after each cut. And you know what we use? This is mouthwash. Yeah, it's, it's good disinfectant for your mouth, so why wouldn't you put it on your tool? So this is what a black knot looks like. Uh, it's basically, looks like a, a burnt marshmallow actually. Zoom in a little bit closer. It's kind of like that growth, a thick growth and it looks really burned and like kind of like I, I call it a burnt marshmallow probably not as yummy so what you want to do is uh, you want to take off a little bit more than just cutting it behind behind here probably want to take it off um, let's say right here okay that's it now you gotta pick it up, and so here we here we have it. It's actually an airborne disease, so if it's in your neighborhood, it's probably gonna spread again. But uh, if you don't tree, if you don't clip it off your tree, it will basically take over and eventually, after a few years, basically kill the tree. So what you need to do as a homeowner, you basically need to clip out uh, those black knots as soon as you see them. They first start little and they grow in size. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, the, the tree is beyond saving and you would have to be advised to take it down, unfortunately. All right, so this is it. Now we're gonna put it in the bag and we sterilize the clippers after each cut so we don't uh, uh, have cross-contamination cross um, to healthy parts of the trees. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, so there you have it. Cut them all out. And I can actually show you a little bit. Uh, maybe it's bright sunlight. There's even a ladybug. See that? There's a ladybug in there. Eating away the marshmallow. <laughs> so this is it. This is a black knot, guys. So um, cut them all out. And um, this is probably here, back to the tree. This is probably uh, a black knot as well here tough to see against the light but it seems like it is so this is uh, too much to cut away uh, at this stage for the tree and because we would have to cut it right here which I don't feel comfortable at this point to keep the tree alive and going to the other tree here it is the same here i think this is already early stage of uh the black knot disease in here it's tough to see against the light but uh, it shows some growth so what do you want to do so what you guys want to do is uh, now that it's all clipped off and on the ground you want to bag it or burn it. Uh, if you bag it, you need to uh, bring it to the dump or dispose it properly. Um, if you burn it, well, you better burn it in your fire pit in the backyard 
or burn it somewhere else. But if you store it on site, because it's an airborne disease, it will basically spread again. So another thing why you want to cut it in uh, the time when there's no leaves on the trees, because A, it's easy to see without the leaves, and B, the, the fungus is dormant at that stage. So late, late winter or early spring is, is probably the best in order to have all the leaves off of the um, branches and to have the snow off the ground if you do have snow. Um, so yeah, so late winter or early spring is the best time to clip it off and you want to clip off a little bit more than just below the knot because it may have spread it towards the uh, uh, lower parts and you also don't want to cut your tool into the fungus so you don't uh, cross-contaminate other parts of the trees you may touch with your tool. Hence, uh, one precaution is what you want to do is um, find a way to disinfect your tool after each cut so to prevent cross-contamination. I hope that helps and if you, have any, uh, if you have any other questions, please leave your comment. Thank you. Okay guys, so I am at a different job site here, uh, sorry I couldn't uh, get the camera rolling here, it was crazy busy. So we had all the, the ladder all the way up into the tree and we even had to cut in, in between power lines in there and now all this mess on the ground, all black knot stuff, we have all, now we have to cut it up and basically uh, I'm probably going to haul it home and then burn it in my place. So here's all black nuts galore. That is all stuff. Black nuts, yummy, yummy. And um, in some cases we had to cut uh, pretty big limbs off. Uh, you see this one here. This is all all down to the main of the limb here. So... But I hope we can save the tree, actually like two trees. We had this one here, actually some stuff fell over to the neighbor. Um, he's going he's gonna to clean off the droppings, I guess. And uh, we had to go pretty high in here. Had to work against the sun, which is not nice. Sometimes you don't see the, the tiny black knots against the sun, against the light, so that's kind of like super tough. You have to step down the ladder and um, basically uh, look from a different angle, then go up again and then uh, blink against the sun and all that stuff. So, but yeah, so we got it all done. Um, they may probably, probably going to be back uh, next year to a certain extent. Uh, all you can do is all you can do because once they're in the neighborhood and once they're in the tree, it's pretty tough to get rid of. Alright, so now I'm gonna load all this stuff up. <coughs> Excuse me. Load all, load all this stuff up. Uh, probably easier than to bag it and so I'm gonna put it all in here in the, in the truck bed. Hopefully that's gonna be big enough. I may have to trample that down. So And then the ladder on the top. That's the way it goes. All right, it's all loaded here, and I'm um, just gonna head home now and basically fight all up so it burns off. And that's it. That's the end of the story for the black knots. Here we have one. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna burn it. The marshmallows. I mean, like the black knot, but they actually do look like marshmallows like burnt marshmallows. There we go. And they're getting roasted even more until they are gone. All right, you guys. So that's the proper way. Like that's one way how to get, uh, how to dispose them properly. The other way is basically uh, get, um, bagging them and bringing them to the dump. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And again, any comments or questions in the box below. Thank you so much, guys.